Steph, it, it feels like one of the common themes for your team, and certainly in back-to-back -back road games against tough opponents, is you find yourself. What is it about the challenge on the road that seems to bring out the best in your group? Uh, you know, you know, all we got is, is ourselves on the bench, and uh, you know, top to bottom, coaches and players have been locked in, just giving a lot of energy and focus, especially the start games, and giving ourselves a chance to capture momentum early, and that's what you have to do on the road. And um, obviously, with K out, it's got to be a collective effort. Our in in intensity and energy has to carry us, and we've done that, uh, a good job of that the last two games. You present so many challenges to a defense, but one of the things you do, and I'm going to have you look at it, Steph, is when you give up the basketball, your ability to reset and get it back. Is that built out of necessity or your training? Both, I guess. I've been doing it for a long time, and I uh, kind of don't want to talk a lot about it because I'm going to give the secrets away. <laughs> I don't blame you. It is certainly, as you look at the speed with which you are able to get it back, one of the most challenging aspects of it. But also, Steph, one of the things your group has found, certainly against Houston and then again tonight, is DeMarcus Cousins. Steve Kerr talked about maybe him getting a little bit more comfortable coaching him. What have you seen from DeMarcus that you can build on? I mean, his body looks good. He looks like he's more comfortable out there on the floor, knowing where his minutes are coming from. And um, I think we're just getting comfortable overall, not having to force it to him, but making sure he's featured. There's a, a nice balance to that uh, approach. And I think early in the in the process, everybody's excited just to have him out on the floor. And then we hit a certain you know period where I think we were a little oversensitive to uh, to trying to give him the ball uh, and not having a good flow to what we're doing. I think we've. We've been able to you know, evolve a little bit. I think we still get better, which is uh, the exciting part. You surprised some people, Steph, when you said that last year was way more of a challenge for your group in many different respects. Does this game and, and the two you put back to back give you confidence that you perhaps have chained, turned a corner? I think we've always had confidence. It's just a matter of when it's going to you know, take hold on the court. Uh, at this point in the season, you know, with less than what, 14 games left, I think it is, uh, every game is important to build the right habits. So if we can accept that challenge every night, you know, win or lose, just bring the right intentions, then come playoff time, we should, uh, we should be okay. So consider how the Phoenix game last Sunday went. I think we've, uh, you know, rectified that, you know, so far. I imagine this feels better than that Phoenix game. Thank you, Steph. No problem. Clay said this is uh, your best defensive performance of the season. Would you agree with that? I mean, yeah, I think our intensity and focus, the 48 minutes of solid, we try to force them into tough shots. Obviously, if they make a couple more, um, you know, things could be different. But over the course of the game, especially early in the first quarter, we imposed our will. Um, did our best not take or taking care of the basketball so they didn't have easy transition opportunities and uh, rebound the ball well. So all things considered, uh, really solid effort knowing if you give them momentum early in this building, they're tough, and we took it away early. Hey, Steph, uh, what jumped out to you with Clay's approach on Westbrook when he was matched up? I mean, just trying to stay in front of him and not foul. And that's pretty much all you can do. Contest the shots, not let him you know, get straight line drives to the basket. Understanding he's so aggressive all, you know, when the ball is in his hands, he can, uh, he's always going to be in attack mode. But he was always just aware. Clay was always aware of where, where he was, try to keep a body in between him and, and the basket. And, and, and you live with contested shots. So uh, he, he was amazing, um, especially in that first half, just kind of keeping him off balance. Steph, Steve was saying he felt like that Phoenix game woke everybody up. And then he said that you guys have always played better when you feel threatened. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, so that, that that game wasn't great by any stretch, especially having beat Denver right before and we were starting to build up momentum. And at this point in the season, whatever <clears throat> you can kind of hold on to to, you know, create those challenges and um, just the expectation of playing a game like we did tonight. So on the road, these last two games we wanted to start off, you know, Again, with the right intentions, the right focus, obviously understanding that with KD out, we're a little different. And so uh, our energy and intensity has to be there because uh, you're missing 28 points out there on the floor, and uh, it's hard to replace that. Y'all waited all long for three? <laughs>